tell me a little bit about where we're going. Well, I've always wanted to find the uh, Plaza de, Le de los Genizaros. And uh, really, I don't, as far as I know, and I've talked to several people, nobody really knows where it's at. <laughs> Here's a map. See, here's Belen. They're really talking about the plaza mm -hmm. where the old church is at. So a mile southeast is Plaza de los Genizaros. The Jarales, mm -hmm. and that's where your family's from. Mm -hmm. So I think if we kind of head that way, and there should be a Jarales road right up here. Right, there is. Oh, the structure, since the area was bulldozed during construction of the railroad yards, that are adjacent and t adjacent to and coincident with the old site of the Genizaro Barrio. So we have to find really where the, the rail railroad yards are, I guess. <laughs> the old one. I know there's a new one right over here. But according to another map that I see, it seems like it, it is kind of halfway between here and Jarales. Okay. So maybe we can kind of go that way. Okay, that'd be great. And really what they're talking about here is that it's a... Uh, that he's saying that the Geniceros uh, constructed like a torreon, like a defensive building. Okay. And he said that w that that actually stayed up until like around 1900s, early 1900s, and some, then it was finally thrown down when they built the rail railroad yards. So let's go there. And I help people to use resources to help them understand history. Mm -hmm. And what, when I say resources, I mean primary resources, such as documents, photos again, um, historical films. So this old town, what's, what's written here is the old town church ruins. Well, overall, is, is it, are there still ruins there? Then there would also be a cemetery here, because usually they would bury people inside the church or just outside the church. So I would say this would be where the heavy cells were buried. But in New Mexico, just my research showed me that it really is just the children of Genizaros. During Spanish colonial times, I, race was important and caste. Between me and like seven generations back, there was really no identity given to anybody. You know, really no race or class designated to them. I mean, we're at one, we're just Americans now, and before that, we we're Mexicans. And before that, really even during the Spanish system, people didn't really call themselves Spanish, only the elite. And I started noticing in 1700s, my ancestors would have the cast next to their name. In, in the records, it says so-and-so, Trujillo, Mestizo, which means half Indian, half Spanish. And then in my case, some of my ancestors that are listed as Coyotes. Yeah. My, my ancestry comes back from the time that we were, uh, the community was a Mexican. Uh, a part of the Mexican government, part of the Mexican nation, and prior to that, we were part of the Spanish nation. And uh, the Genizaro basically era uh, una unas gentes conocidas either de que fueran gentes mezcladas with uh, Spanish and, and, uh, and Na Native American, or fueran, uh, fueran gentes uh, indígenas, indigenous people. Uh, well, let's say that used to happen here a lot was the trade fairs. The trade fairs south had a I understand it used to have two trade fairs a year, and that invited all the Native Americans, different tribes, etc., to Taos. Older people crying when the Comanches would come because it brought them memories of their loved ones. Uh, we sing the cautivo, and, and that was the captives dance. That was when the Comanche would come into its camp, bringing in their captives, and it brought memories of the stories that were passed on uh, from one generation to the next on how they got to this community. And because uh, this community comprised of people who were Navajoses and they were Apaches, Utes, and Kaiwas, and they came from those different tribes. They came from pueblos in the south. The, the uh, Comanche dancing uh, was passed on to me by my dad, my grandfathers, my great-grandfather, and, um, and, and I passed it on to my children and they have passed it on to their children. I've grown up with this my entire life. I've been dancing since I was a baby. I mean, my dad, uh, he, he made a headdress for me when I was an infant, and he had me out here dancing. But there, you know, for us to say, I identify with this particular tribe or the other tribe, mm -hmm. we don't, in, a, in that sense of being identified with the Apache or the Navajo, because we're a mixed tribes. 
but we do identify with our song and our dance with the Comanches because the Comanches are the ones that interacted with this community, traded mm -hmm. immensely with the community. But to be very frank with you, uh, I think that Genisa are basically more and more uh, being lost. They're only in those uh, families' genealogy where they say, oh, uh, la, la grandma era eh, Apache or grandpa era Navajo or on and on. Uh, we were an Indian community until 1928 when the government um, relinquished or our, our status. Um, all, all the proof is there. Uh, just what we just mentioned now, the fact that all our forefathers went to Indian schools, you know, to the Indian school, the fact that on our very patent that the United States government gave to the people from Abiquiu, President Taft struggled in the grantee, on the grantee line, and he wrote to the half-breed Indians of Abiquiu. And some of it will have to remain in mystery and, and hopefully at least the bits and pieces that we do know a little bit about, you know, we can continue to share. <laughs> Tradition in Abiquiu is definitely one of the cornerstones. Our faith, our Catholic faith, is one of the other cornerstones. Family is the third cornerstone. And then our land is one of our cornerstones because we have a place we belong to. I refer to Abiquiu as being a miracle. Because believe me, we were through all our history, somebody's been trying to take Abiquiu away. Is to, to know who I am, is to, to, to know where, where I come from, to know, uh, you know, to know that this is, this is who I am and this is what I do. And then, and they, they, they do tell a history, you know. Si tu andas en combate y tu tropa no ganó, Pide a Dios que te rescate si el enemigo es trabajo. Hey, hey, yo, hey, hey, yo, saca navajo, hey, yo, ya, yo, en ella, hey, yo, ya, yo, hey, yo, ya, yo. Antes noche fui a tu casa y me dites de cenar. Tortillitas, chamuscadas, y frijoles sin guisar. So they were fun songs also. 